What about bars and restaurants? Uh, are there plants uh, or anywhere in the world that you know about putting? I mean, I saw a, a program from Japan that they have uh, these uh, robots for bars in the COVID era, but I don't know how well spread and what, how, how much it is used. But are there plants somewhere that you're aware of to put the robots in restaurants and bars? Yeah, and I, I, I always get really excited when I, I see this type of stuff and I, you know, I, I try and follow it as much as I can. And some of the really interesting ideas that I've seen recently have been companies like Miso Robotics, and I believe they're in, I think they're in California. And they've sort of partnered up with a burger chain and they're, they're leveraging uh, robotics as well as artificial intelligence to basically have a robot doing a lot of the simple tasks in the burger restaurant. So for example, it'll be, uh, you know, placing, placing patties, flipping, flipping them. It'll be monitoring the temperature and the location using, using AI. And then, uh, you know, it'll change tools and move on to something else like, you know, lifting a pan out of a deep fryer and that sort of thing. And they, uh, I believe they're, they're in like multiple facilities now. The robotics in restaurants could come in a lot of different forms. And that's, that's just one of them. It remains, though, a big question mark that I would have is, I mean, is this technology widely available today? I mean, do you have to be a rich restaurant to get access to that uh, type of robot? Or, I mean, well, how much does it cost to get the robot for a restaurant or for a bar? I would think that robotics for the restaurant is, uh, it's not quite within reach for a lot of smaller businesses. And at the same time as well, there's the other, the, the other concept of, you know, do people want their food, you know, from a robot? Do you want your ro- uh, food from a robotic server? And, uh, you know, uh, depending on how you're trying to market yourself and position yourself, like it, it might not be a good idea to, you know, to automate. You have to think about what your customers are interested in as well. I've heard from, for example, like uh, some r- robotics in agriculture that some vineyards they may be hesitant to, to automate because they see something like viniculture as uh, something that's traditionally, you know, working with your hands. And it's a very artisanal type thing that sort of loses a bit of its charm when you, when you automate it.